<laughs> All right, hello, we're back again. Welcome, welcome to the Marsha and Joy Show. We're here again, coming to, to you from Pine Needles Quilt and Sew in Rochester, Minnesota, on this beautiful last day of March. I know. Can't hardly believe it, where time goes. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in today and kicking off the second half of your week with us. Um, tomorrow, I'm really glad it isn't tomorrow. Right, because you are foolish enough. You would fool fools. me. They would all <laughs> fool us. So we'll just save all that for tomorrow. Um, like, comment, and share on for those of you that are new. And we have three uh, $10 gift certificates to give away. One of them will go to our trivia winner, which we'll have a question a little bit later on. And the other ones will be chosen on Thursday evening on Rafflecopter. And if you are a winner, you have to look at Friday's email because that's where you will see where all the winners are. And then your gift certificate will, will be waiting for you at the counter when you stop in, just ask for Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yes. I do want to tell you today, if anybody does care to purchase anything, we do have a link, and now a link on our Facebook page. Susie is going to post that for us, and it is this right here. You will find that um, if you go to www.pnqs.net and you hit the shop, and right at the top there, it's gonna be Wednesday Live Featured Goodies. So you don't wanna miss that. Of course, there's more than what we featured today, but there that's is. what we're talking about You might about wanna today. look at some of the other to... links in there too. Exactly. We've got some great stuff. But um, for easy shopping for you, um, it just has everything all in one place, and it you does. can go tomorrow or the next day or whenever you want to, or today. We don't have any onesies and twosies, so you don't have to be quick on the draw today. So, um, I'm ready. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> She's got, are we still in cat jokes? This we morning? are. This is the end of the cat jokes. Okay. And I found some more cat jokes. Okay, I'm ready. Yep. They were too possum to pass up. Aww. Too possum to pass up. Aww. Um, anyways, I turned, I turned, I turned into a cat earlier. You did? Yes, yes, I Tell did. Tell me about that, Marcia. Don't ask me, meow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a hairy day? <laughs> okay. Or, or did you have a perfect start to your morning? <laughs> Pretty much. Um, uh, my cat was watching her DVD. Yes. On the TV, and she was really having trouble. Tell me about that. <laughs> She can't even say it. <laughs> Turns out she just had her movie on pause. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, then. <laughs> okay. You I heard it here first. I had to get them all in because this is the last day of March. And, and like we have to jokes. have some new jokes. And you know what? I haven't picked a topic for April. That's okay. You like, got time. To, it's tomorrow. I do. But we have till next we're Wednesday. To get them. So, anyways, that's hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have more. We jokes don't know for what our April this. theme for the jokes is going to be, but I guarantee they will be funny. You never know. <laughs> Maybe it will be like potluck. Oh, uh, I'm not quite ready for potluck yet. Okay. I think there's still enough out there that I can find. You can do a theme. I okay. can find a theme, but we'll have to go to potluck once I. <laughs> but you know, I could rotate back around too. You could. Because absolutely. there were so many cat jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. I had to funny pick and choose. Well, anyways, back to pine needles and off of the cats. We have some beautiful new fabric in the store. It's called Rosalyn, and it is from um, Minnick and Simpson, and we have. Layer cakes, we have, it's a huge line. Jelly rolls. Jelly rolls and charm packs. Plus we have everything on the bolts. It's 40 some bolts. And I'm gonna go over here to the other camera. And it's just one of my favorites. I can't wait to make and something And show with this. you some of the beautiful things that we have, fabrics. Aren't these reds just yummy? They are and they're, they're classic pretty. Well, and I'm not going to really, say what the color is here because you're busy laying really them It really is all reds, and I'm going to start laying more on top here, too. And against the green, they look more orange, but they really aren't. They're real classic. I love the stars. 
So we have all of these in the... Uh, this one I think was an oops that I grabbed. Oh no, that is not, it's not the correct one. So these are all the reds. So move these over. Do you want the pinks next? I'll take the pinks, pinkies. I guess this one can go in that category. Absolutely. So these are kind of the pinkish ones. Love them. These are um, the kind of antique white. Kind of white with reds. Boy, these are pretty. I know. I'm thinking log cabin maybe or something starry. Oh, I have another. It's got idea. a lot of beautiful I haven't stars in there. Like that. What I'm going to make. Got Kind of a little paisley and and I like the bigger prints too. They're very nice. So these are kind of the whitish white, and then these are kind of uh, taupe and tannish colors here to round off the line for some backgrounds, maybe some accents. But isn't that pretty? These are all um, Rosalind. By Minnick and Simpson. By Minnick and Simpson, and we have them all on the bolts. Um, she has not cut the fat quarter packs yet. She is going to be doing that. We were hoping she'd get to it yet this week, but those will be online as soon as we have them. But we have the bolts on, or the fabric on bolts already. Hello. And, and um, we have pre-cuts. And we have pre-cuts. Right? Two. So, well, we have the jellies well, and the, yeah. But we are we are gonna get the Shay's gonna get the fat quarters fat cut. quarters cut when she has time. Gosh, she's been busy cutting. She has because you know we have that in. spring retreat. I don't I don't even know if you even have that on our board today. I but don't because we're getting kind of full. That's true. So if you want to do the springtime retreat, you better be doing, getting signed up. So I didn't put it on the board anymore because it's. But that's why she's what? been busy. She's been she's cutting the those, kits for our mystery Oh, quilt. my gosh. That virtual um, retreat is going to be fun. I can't hardly wait. Me neither. I have a really good time. Okay, so it is T-shirt time. A lot of you, I know our grandmas, I have made my share for my kids' friends when they were growing up. And, um, gosh, I don't even think I made them for my own kids. I didn't. I didn't because they didn't want to give up the their t-shirts. I made yet. for the cousins. And um, anyways, it's t-shirt time. And I remember I used to make them all the time t-shirt quilts for graduates because they take their sports or their ice skating or musical, whatever kind of activities they're in. You know, you get t-shirts. It takes 20 t-shirts to make a quilt. But um, we have a new book. Called Beyond the T. Which has some really unique different patterns. Now back in the day I didn't even use a pattern. I um we just cut the squares and I cut the squares and we? I sashed them and I put cornerstones in them. It was uh four by five. And then <laughs> I would put borders. But But some of you have made a lot of quilts and so there's some different shapes here. There's some rounded off shapes, there's some ones in stars. There's just really a lot of fun layouts in this book and also technique information. So this is our featured book, Beyond the Tea, and we have some goodies to go with it to make well, your... Actually, we have a t-shirt making bundle today. Yes, that's what I was going to say. So, so it includes this book. And it comes with this ruler by Creative Grids that is 12 and a half inches square. Absolutely a must when you're making the quilt. T-shirts are stretchy, so we have Shape Flex. And you iron it to the back of the t-shirt to stabilize it and keep it from stretching as you sew. And this is a three-yard cut. This is a three-yard cut of um, Shape Flex, yes. And then... This oh, is very important, I can't tell you. Because um, um, t-shirts are stretchy and you put this back on the back of it and then they stretch no more. Which is very important when you're making a quilt. And I will tell you, when I, I lay this on my t-shirt and I cut a little bigger than this and then I iron this on... And then I lay it down and I trim after I get that done. And you can see through the ruler so you can see you what can. you're cutting exactly. out. Exactly. At where the center of my um, design is, I can put it right here in the middle you can. of my t-shirt. And, and needles because needles are one of the most important parts to success in your project. And we are including a super universal needle. These are special because they have a coating on them to uh, help glide through that any sort of um, printed material you okay. have a, that t-shirt material 
plasticky stuff. And also, since you're ironing the Shape Flex to the back that has some gum, but they are universal, so they go through that ballpoint. But this is really the ideal needle for those t-shirt quilts. Super universal. So this whole bundle is going together, and Susie has those She has together. this specially priced. I think it's 70-some dollars, and she's got it for... She's, she'll, the link will be in there. I think $69.99. She's got a, a good deal on that t-shirt bundle. Right. So check that out. And, of course, that stuff is all good for other uses, especially oh, exactly. the ruler. And oh, can I talk about the machine? You can talk about okay, the machine. Okay, so let me lift this up. i got to back up my chair here a wee bit without tipping our table over. And am I coming close up? Yep, you're coming in close up. And I'm going to move this over. So today I have the Bernina 535 as our featured uh, machine, and it was very similar to the machine I featured last week, the 570, but this one has a 5.5 millimeter stitch uh, width on here, so that's standard for uh, machines, and it gives you very close together feed dogs to make uh, garment sewing super easy because you can turn those corners uh, um, tighter, easier because they are are moving your fabric closer together. There is a jumbo uh, bobbin in here, so there is three times the capacity of a drop-in bobbin. Not going to run out anytime soon on your sewing. There is, of course, a scissors on the front to cut your thread. The drop-in or the front-loading bobbin gives you precision sewing. We have built-in bobbin winding up here. What's nice about the screen, Marcia, is that you can change your stitches with your knobs on the side. Needle can be down, and you can do that as you sew, and you don't have to have your needle in the up position. You can go between stitches. It will remember what your settings are, and it makes uh, your sewing process a breeze. But in addition to this beautiful Bernita 535, shall we go big? We need to go big now, even though you have that there. I know, but I'm going to turn here. it this way. But okay. I want to tell you that, again, Marcia and I really can't emphasize enough how important it is to have a sewing area dedicated to you. We like to call it a studio. It doesn't matter if it's in your closet. And Marcia is showing off this gorgeous sewing station on the screen. When you purchase this 535 this month, while our supplies last, you're going to get this gorgeous cabinet. You have the opportunity to purchase it at half price. What is lovely is you just set the machine in. It has storage that lifts up on the left and the right. There's storage down below. This cabinet is 53 inches wide, so it doesn't take up a ton of real estate, but it's big in feature and storage. It is a beautiful cabinet, and I will tell you that we have a limited number of these. Um, these are um, being discontinued. I don't know why because it's one of my favorite cabinets and it's also great if you have uh, not so much space. Right. Um, because when it's folded down the machine just sits right in there so you've got a built-in sewing table and then you all that extra when it full all the extra storage. Right. Plus for embroidery and you can add embroidery to that at some You can add embroidery to that at time of like purchase to. or later but Again, having a dedicated sewing space is really it is. important. And you can call it a sewing studio, whether you put it in the corner of your bathroom, your closet, your kitchen, your dining room, your bedroom, wherever you find space, maybe the laundry room. It is. It's a great machine, and that's a great little cabinet. And like I said, we have limited numbers. And I'm going to say the number is only five. We have only five cabinets left. And when those are gone, they're going to be gone. They are gone, yes. So um, if you have been wanting a machine, a wonderful Bernina machine and a cabinet. And not to leave baby luck out, we've got some specials that are starting in April. Right. Which is it tomorrow. It just happened that Bernina got to have back-to-back -back specials this week. Exactly. So um, we're going to be talking about and watch the weekly emails too um, and on Facebook because we'll be um, letting out some of what the, the new baby luck specials are too. But this is a great deal on a midline beautiful sewing machine right. with a beautiful cabinet as well. Absolutely. So I talked earlier about the trivia. And the first one to answer correctly will get a $10 certificate to the, from the Marsha Enjoy Show. Yes. And it looks like we might have a question. A lot of people want to know the price. 
Okay, we cannot give the price of the sewing machines or the furniture online. It's a Bernina thing. So the staff up well, front and knows. the baby lock thing too. Yes, it is baby lock. They don't let us do it online. And so this, because it's a live, it's a virtual, it's considered online. So we can't, you need to call into the store or you can email info at pnqs.net and we can give you the prices there, but we can't give them but they're a really good deal. They are a really good <laughs> the cabinet, deal. Like I said, but is, we would be happy to share that information with right. you and right. um, just shoot we us just an email. We just don't want to get in trouble. No, with with anybody. So um, the trivia question then. This is a good one. Okay, I'm ready. It really is. It was kind of interesting for me. I kind of sort of knew it, but I kind of sort of didn't either. So I kind of gave you a pretty good clue here as well. So, in the early 1900s, professional quilters charged for their services in this manner. And the clue is, it's not by the hour. Hmm. So the first one to answer that question, in the early 1900s, professional quilters charged for their services in this manner. If I didn't charge for my services, I would uh, probably charge by the cleaning job. I have. Well, I trade cooking and cleaning. I know. But now I didn't read the it, answer. It so if it's truly that, it's is monetary. I mean, they get money. Right. But the uh, measurement is not by okay. the hour that they used back then. So Marcia doesn't tell me the question ahead of time. Just so you no, all know, so I that I can go out there and think. Because you don't know the answer, do you? I don't. Okay. I don't. So. But yeah. right at the moment, I'm thinking dishes are a high, hot commodity in my house. I would charge by the dishes. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, Michelle Jansen, congratulations Woo to you. Michelle, there's a certificate. You are our winner. And in the early 1900s, quilters charged by the yard of thread that they used to make a quilt. Wow. So, um... They all did hand work, and the piecing was done by hand. So oh it was goodness. done. They were they charged by the yard of thread that they used, and I believe back when we first had Cresco, we had um, some Amish ladies that did some hand quilting for us here and there, and they charged by the yard, like the spool, wow. like how many yards were on the spool. Mm -hmm. If it was a hundred yards, that's how they charged as well. So. You know, some sometimes, I mean, we don't do that anymore, but the Amish, I think, and maybe they still do. I'm not really sure. But anyways, Very that's cool. kind of how I knew that answer. So later. there you are. She, she had an advantage, Absolutely. but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did. You okay, did. the next thing we want to talk about is every... Um, Every Wednesday, we're going to have a new Fat Quarter little bundle, um, eight Fat Quarters, something that's new in the store. And this one is called Garden Love Fats. So this is $28 worth of fats for $22.50. Heck of a deal. And I'm going to go back down here and show you the lovelies for this week. Isn't this pretty? I know, such bright, cheerful colors. They are. Uh, navy and It's got classic. this lovely plaid. Now, these also were the fabrics that we used last week for the tea towel, or the, the right, towel. the towel. Yeah, thing. thing. This says um, family and flowers and some little words, so we have it also in the blue. Love these pieces. And here's another one of the plaids. The blue dots. And then this beautiful... Uh, it's a larger floral piece, as you can see, with the I flower it. markets and everything on there. So this is a um, limited number of these. This is our special deal for the Fat Quarters. And it's called... For the Wednesday Live. Garden Love Fats. What a fun name. My oh. garden is sprouting. My seeds. There we go. Did you plant seeds? I did, and they're starting to come up. So just wait. Lots of zinnias. Don't know about the tomatoes yet, Marcia. Lots to wait. You know, last year <laughs> she was. Um, well, Tom and I, we do plant a garden. We potatoes and onions and just basics. I um, don't. We're gonna get some raised beds this year, though. Very. Exciting. But anyways, my greenhouse would be by joy. Greenhouse by joy. <laughs> so tomatoes and peppers and flowers and you never exactly know what you're gonna get. But last year she gave me. Um, Way more tomato plants than what we needed. 
And of course, frugal. And she was very successful. I know. Frugal Tom was like, oh, these are such beautiful tomato plants. We must plant them all. <laughs> and so we did. And we made salsa and spaghetti sauce and pepper jelly. Oh, the tomatoes, oh yeah. Pepper jelly. And yeah, it was so. And I hadn't canned for, well, when we left the farm, I can't remember when that was, but I kind of got rid of my canner and my jars and all that kind of stuff. So you, I, like all of the rest of the world, was out and about looking for <laughs> jars and canners that were nowhere to be found. But we did finally find some. And I don't know, Tom and I did that kind of together, and it was really quite fun. We're going to do it again. So greenhouse, glad to her greenhouse is back in. Is it in again op this year? operation and roots of love? Don't forget your garden. Absolutely, grass. we love gardening. Um, and you're going to talk a little bit about some of the new, you know, we talked about um, we have the boutique for Wonderfill Wonder Threads mm -hmm. in the store now. So this is all new to us. It's got beautiful, beautiful, beautiful threads. Oh, You'll have no. to see it when you come. But she's kind of going to talk about one of the different threads every time. And then again, we talked that we were going to have thread education coming next fall. So we'd have a national educator coming into our classroom. And every time they came, once a month, you would learn about one, two, or three different new kinds of threads. Right, so I'm just going to expand your life a little bit because everybody should have a high fiber diet rich <laughs> in a thread. So today's feature thread is Deco Bob, and this is a, an 80 weight thread, so quite light. Most of you are piecing out there with 50 weight thread. It is a cottonized polyester, so technically it is a polyester thread, but it has a cotton mat finish on it so it's not bright and shiny. It has many, many uses and I just picked one of the neutral ones and one of the uses is for piecing and I was just sharing with Marsha this past week I've been piecing exclusively with this thread. The fiber on this thread is so fine it blends right in with the thread that is woven in the fabric. So there is absolutely no bulk in the seam. And if you are a Judy Niemeyer or a, a paper piecer aficionado, this is really ideal because those points on some of those paper piece items are so fine and delicate. It really brings crisp contrast. And we saw these things at market for the last several years, but we weren't, we didn't have the space. And Marcia kept saying, Joy, you have to wait till we have more space. And now we have more space. And so she's good for her promise. So her dream came true. It she's did. got all this much thread. It did. <laughs> and you know, I love to piece lots of projects that have smaller things. And the smaller your square or triangle goes, the less room you have for a fudge factor in your seam allowance. And when that thread is, is bulky, it takes up extra space. So this really gives you a very nice definition. Mm -hmm. But it's not just for piecing. It is also for quilting. And if you like to do really detailed outlining of things or you want to do micro stippling, this thread is going to blend into your background and give you a good texture going on without bringing attention to the uh, sheen of a polyester typical thread. But in addition to this, uh, it also is Deco Bob is um, a bobbin thread. So as an, a person who loves to embroider, it also gives you less bulk on the underside of your embroidery work. And so that gives your top threads room to shine without creating a big bunch. And uh, for all of you that have drop-in bobbin systems, we have the pre-wound bobbins, and I should have grabbed a package. I showed oh, yeah. them off, though. Earlier. We did, yep. But we have Class L and Class 15 bobbins in pre-wound packages. You can also get the multicolor packages. And Marcia and I were just talking about having a sampling of thread for handwork or for repair work. Uh, the multicolor bobbins would make a great sewing kit addition because you get a little of many colors. Right, right, correct. So Deco Bob, and as always, because needles are important to the success of your project, uh, because Deco Bob many times is used on a woven fabric because you're piecing, you're quilting, or maybe embroidering, the needles they recommend tend to be a sharp point of needed needle. We have these in our page too, but the quilting needle is a delicate pointed shafted needle to go in between the fibers of your fabric. Size 90 is a little bit bigger than uh, I would have thought for the thread, but you need the size to create the hole for that thread to glide through. So quilting. We have Microtex, again a nice delicate needle shaft, and it is a size 80 needle recommended. 
for the paper piecers out there, a size 70 Microtex needle really is your go-to. You're going to want to shorten your stitch length with this thread because this thread is delicate and small, so you're going to want to shrink it down to two. So no big three millimeter stitching, Marcia. Right. Where are you? <laughs> and then last but not least, if you're quilting, a top stitch needle is what we recommend because it's going to uh, part the waist of the fabric nicely. So they have a size 90 top stitch. The eye of the needle is up a little higher to protect your thread longer when you're quilting. And not featured in my little pile here, if you are a long arm quilter, they recommend the size uh, 116 needle for the long arm. Now on my Bernita long arm, I use domestic needles and I use the top stitch needles. But if you have a machine that takes an industrial needle, the size 16 is what you're looking for. For the deco bob, and last but not least, so they're 2,000 meter spools, so twice as much as your typical spool, and beautiful colors. Uh, to and you to have movies. them all out there, don't you? I do have them all. So that was a lot of fun. Thanks for letting me talk about my Absolutely. deco bob. Um, I used this for um, some of the Kimberbell embroidery I did, and what I noticed too is that I'm, I'm, it all like it winds a bobbin forever and ever. There's a lot of thread that goes on a bobbin when you it use does. this. It does. And I'm going to just put that out there. And not everybody out there is our quilters. So you, there are garment sewers out there. And up until now, we didn't really have a really fine thread for you to make uh, delicate things on costume making, on bridal wear. You know, when you're making a rolled hem on a satin, you're going to want a finer thread because it's going to lay nicer and it's gonna blend into your background. So Deco Bob is the thread of the week. It and is. I um, got to share all that good stuff. Now you have some other That's goodies really good. here. We do have some other goodies. So this again, I know we talked about this shortly before we moved at the, at the other store, I think. I know, but it's spring and I said we had to feature this one last time. It is, this is Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. So this is <laughs> Bloom and Bunch, this is by, um, uh, Maureen McCormick, who played Marsha on the Brady Bunch, and if you're my age, you know who she is, and you, if you were in high school at that time, you watched to see what she wore, and how she did her belts on the outside of her shirts, and all sorts uh, of things. Right. Yeah. And how she, of course, reacted to her brothers, because having brothers, that was a thing in my house, too. Exactly. It was <laughs> fun. It was, I just loved to watch that one. I had to watch that one. Um, but anyways, we have this lovely um, So Happy it's tote. Or so happy um, bag, and this is made with those. And then, so what we're including here is this cute dish towel, Homegrown Happy and So Happy. Um, buy the bag, and we're including this as well. And Susie has the links for these um, for you to purchase. And, and then we want to talk about the quilt behind us, which our lovely Brenda made. Um, the pattern is by Prairie Grass Patterns, and it's called Optimist. And it is 31 fat quarters, so she used about the entire collection. And then bought a little extra. And then a background. And then, um, so there are the three fat quarter packs, one, two, and three. If you want to make this quilt, you'll need all three. And like I said, when we do the, our fat quarter packs, if you just want a smattering of them, um, just to make one project, then we have fat quarters um, of everything. But you'll have, I think there's 10, there's ten, ten in, in each. each. You'll need one more to get from your stash, or we can help you find one too. But um, Brenda, also, I want to uh, feature this quilt. She's our... Um, she teaches all of our classes on machine quilting with right. domestic or she quilts on a Q20 on a table. And she does absolutely marvelous job. She has um, quilting with a walking foot. She has free, quilt, motion. free motion quilting One. with or without a Bernina stitch regulator or a stitch regulator, um, number one. And then for more advanced, she has class number two. So we kind of rotate those classes every... Um, quarter right um, one one each month but she did this all on her q20 her sit down machine and i mean there is some really intricate quilting in here this you can't see it but she's got daisies inside each one of these um so it's absolutely a beautiful a very very special quilt 
And, and you, in lovely spring colors. It is in lovely spring colors. So if you're interested in that, we have that. The other thing we have left here is I want to show the auction quilts. Okay. This is the next big holiday. But not the bottom one. That's no, something that's else. for later. We're going to show that too, but not right now. Okay, so I'm going to hide it off to the okay. side. This um, quilt, so after Easter, our next holiday, I believe, is Memorial Day. Right. So how fitting. Um, this quilt Susie actually made, and it is just beautiful. Um, it is, we stand for truth, honor, and our country. It's a larger quilt. It has this flange on it, which is absolutely beautiful. Little firecrackers coming out here. And Gina, I believe, quilt this, and it has little swirly stars on here too. Right. So it is a beautiful quilt for your back of your couch or wherever you would like to do it. It's a little bit larger. And then on the back, we have navy stars. blue with stars. So this is going to be the auction quilt. I'll try and get it posted tomorrow. Uh, morning and then you have until Saturday at 1 o'clock to bid on that quilt. We might as well stay standing because I want to tell them about okay. next time. Stay tuned next week on Wednesday Next again. week this is going to be our demo and this again is a quilt that um, is by a group of us that are kind of Facebook friends but we're quilt shop friends and we're doing a round robin. So this is the quilt and this comes from my um, friend Terry um, Lone Star Quilting in Texas and she made this one and it's going around to each of the 12 shops um, but she's got some white with a little black dot on it. This is made with a charm pack and the Kona charm packs those are coming we will have them next week and then we're going to demonstrate how to make this lovely quilt so you want to tune in next week to see about this. Alright and we can sit back down if again because we're just about done. I do want to tell you that um, for those of you that are in the brown bag mystery, and I know it's not all of you, but um, at 7 o'clock tonight we're doing a, sh a store tour right. on that page. But we're also going to post it on um, this page too. So 7 o'clock, maybe a little bit after, whenever um, Joy and I have a recording of the store, the complete store. We're so far or near. So far or near you can see um, and take a stroll with us through the store. So that'll be happening tonight on this page around 7 o'clock. But it will be there. You can watch it tomorrow or whenever you want to. Yeah. So, but they're going to like, comment, and share for a chance to win a $10 certificate. Exactly. And the reason that we, um, we know that there are some of you that are working right now that have to watch it on the recording. So you are also entered in the drawing for that. But I do um, want to do tell you about a reminder that we are closed Saturday and Sunday for Easter. We want you to enjoy a time with your family and friends. And eat plenty of jelly beans. And eat plenty of jelly beans. Peanut butter and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so um, from our family here at Pine Needles Quilts and Sew, to all of you, we wish you a very happy and blessed Easter. And I hope you can find some time or roll off the couch to do maybe <laughs> a little bit of creative work and some right. sewing too. So thanks so much for joining us again today. Again, this is the Marsha and Joy Show here at Pine Needles Quilt and Sew in Rochester, Minnesota. Remember, we're closed on Saturday and Sunday. And until next time, we will keep you in stitches. Thank you so very much for joining us. Bye. Bye-bye.